Kemlin Furley, the UNHCR representative in Georgia. Today is the 20th of June, which is World Refugee Day. And we usually mark this with uh, new information and new trends. Um, unfortunately, this year we have to report that nearly 80 million people are now displaced globally in the world. And that's twice as many people as in 2010. That's a huge statistic and that statistic represents many, many traumatized, broken families. We've seen in this COVID crisis that uh, all of us are of course affected, but displaced people tend to be very, very challenged. Um, they have more fragile livelihoods, um, they don't have the networks and support of home. So this has been a really big challenge for them. We're extremely grateful to Georgia for not only receiving and protecting refugees and offering safety, but for the inclusion that they've ensured for uh, everybody in health services and COVID prevention measures. Um, and this is clearly a very wise move. Um, nobody is safe until everybody is safe. UNHCR has been trying to offer solidarity also uh, in, in Georgia to the overall response. So we've, uh, we've provided food packages for um, a thousand uh, families who've been displaced. We are providing a small uh, contribution to the ambulance services to keep them running. And we have been working very closely with the Ministry of Interior to keep essential services running for asylum seekers and to help the very the most vulnerable of those asylum seekers and refugees. We also need to come through this together. So whoever you are, wherever you're from, um, remember that every action counts and we can all make a difference.